I have no idea how the switching works. It only gave me one option of someone to switch to. And then once I did switch, all of a sudden I had three more options of people I could switch with. Okay, they've got magical. Two magical and three physical. Has Neath. I normally wouldn't go any defensive items. Um, but with this being assault. It's worth at least considering, but I still don't know that I will. They have a lot of ranged, which means I'll be taking damage even as I'm staying back. Hopefully Kumba will be getting in there. I mean, the only thing that I could do is go Void Shield. Which isn't a bad pickup in something like Assault, where you're always going to be... Enemies are always going to be close to each other. The passive on Void Shield might make sense on this. I guess we will. I guess we'll go Void Shield. Just give this, give this a try, and then we'll start working towards Salvation. Of course, on Neath, I always level up my 1. And then... Well, ultimate, priority ultimate, and then one, and then two, and then three is the last thing you'll level up. Have fun. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. That wasn't a very nice, uh, nice deal there. They did not appreciate Loki's uh, dance party there. I have a good balance here. Three, three magical, two physical. They've got two magical, three physical. Good little match here. The advantage that they have is that they have um, they have more. Wow, what is Loki doing? They have more. Uh, oh gosh, they have more range than we do, which tends to have. A little bit more advantage to it here in um, in assault. I don't know how this is going to end well for us. <laughs> And they're just sitting back healing and jumping on us. And I still haven't finished my morning coffee and my brain's not quite working that fast yet. Blinking Loki with Freya just waiting on him to do that.
Be nice to take Cupid out. Cut down some of their healing, but with them being back in tower, he'd probably get back out here before we get any significant amount of kills. The reason why I was able to get that is because they weren't really paying attention. They were all sort of engaged on the left side, so they didn't see the uh, the ultimate coming to block it and protect their teammate there. Apollo pay for over committing there. As soon as we hit our stun, they jumped on him, which is nice. here. I think that's alright. Get boots next time back. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. Come on, Kumba. Should have upgraded the two there before. Should have upgraded the two before using it there to heal. Would have gotten a little bit more healing out of it. So you have a good friend from DDO thinking of spying D3 and the expansion. That's nice. Oh gosh. Loki, my friend. likes people to play games with. Well that sounds very cool. We are going to just have to eat that uh Just eat that ultimate. And our, uh, 
unnecessary aggression continues here. Let's just let them fight under their tower, little game. Who's that under their tower? Cronus. is not kicking in yet this morning. I am so tired. I'm sorry, I thought you were going to be there. I need to get out of here. That's what I need to do. An ally has been slain. Your middle tower is under attack. You have been slain. You know the feeling. That's just gonna go ahead and get boots. Can't wait any longer. They are winning 18 to 10. We'll go ahead and finish off Salvation and get back out there. So I am two and two with six assists. This will help give a little bit more punch to the rage crits that we get. We'll probably go executioner next. Dragon pay for that, which is good. I feel like finally we are 
maybe strong enough where we can uh, now I'll tell you what it was I'll tell you what was different right there we weren't fighting under their tower and so we were really able to use Kumba Karna's abilities to set up some of our stuff more so than we're pushed up when we're pushed up like this Take somebody in the tower there. gotten one tower down. We're pretty close to even on gold, even though they have a good many more kills. They have spent so much time under the tower, they missed some of that gold. I think I just sat in... I think I just sat in that tornado for a while there. I gotta back the mess up here. hurt but we're not broken just yet oh <laughs> that was nice that was nice all right we've got minion advantage here for a second Oh, he hit me with that. That's no fun. Alright, everybody group up here. Thanks. There we go. Not too bad. For how this team started, the fact that we are at this point is pretty exciting. Fenrir thought about jumping on me there. Probably wouldn't have been a bad choice. Those minions got taken away before I could heal off of them. Come on. You gotta get Loki 
there. Slow him down. I don't know if that works when he's activated his ultimate though. When this minion wave comes up, we should be able to get some healing. And we should have just stunned Loki there. I mean, uh, Cupid would probably could have killed him. Okay, we're taking some damage here. If I could get a little help on killing the tower, please. Thank you. This wouldn't be a bad time for me to die. 4,200 gold to spend. Alright. Executioner. And Titan's Bane, probably. Executioner gives us the... Um, reduction, further reduction of their physical protection. Which, let's see. What is their Fenrir doing? Oh, he hasn't died. It's like, he didn't have any items. Okay. They don't really have a lot of physical protection. You know, I could probably go Deathbringer and then start Titan's Bane or go ahead and pick up beads for Fenrir. I think that's what I'll do. They just don't have enough physical protection for me to worry about too much else right now. I think getting that Deathbringer is going to be more than enough to make a big difference here. Oh, did that hit? oh I thought he hit him. It's about to pounce. Missed them all. Really, Cupid? I look like a what my friend Nason would call a panic ult. You get a little freaked out. That's not nice. I'm gonna fly underneath that mess. I just took another one of his daggum things. Oh, Fenrir. Don't worry, I got my beads on. I got my beads on. Okay. Whew. Mercy. Don't they just leave me alone? Tell you what, Kumba. Ah. My bad. My bad. Not enough time to react here. Get Aussie. I think I'll just get Aussie. 
Cause it's got that attack speed on there. It's yeah, still a decent item. I, I've stayed away from it since it uh, was changed a little bit, but in this case, I can finish the item, really pick up the benefit of both the attack steal and the life, the attack speed and the life steal. I think that's a pretty good call there. Always telling you to hang back and look at me. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, I've been hanging back the whole match. I, I feel like I've got the items and the damage now to be a little bit more aggressive, but um, eating a dragon's ultimate is not uh, what I need to be doing, obviously. All right, so I don't know what we do here other than just get away. We should be hurting now. We should be doing a little bit of damage here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh oh. The scary part right now is we've got a bunch of people. We need to hang back and let somebody else come help clean up some of this as I run up. God, I missed that. Come on. Yeah, and I was focused on healing, I mean, um, healing everybody with salvation. I, I thought Kronos was going to kill Fenrir there. Yeah, why don't you get those hearts, Fenrir? Pick up these hearts, please. Come pick up the hearts. We need our minions. Ooh, he's just tanking it. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool, not cool. No, that's not cool either. We're not going to be able to finish this off. And I need some healing. Fenrir, don't kill them all. Thank you. Kumba got back up. That's awesome. We'll take that. So we've got no time. Apollo's back up. There's a smart play and there's a not so smart play. Let's do the smart play. Wait till, we're, wait till we're all here and wait till we have minions before we jump this. May just stun somebody here. Ooh, I don't want that. I do not want that. Alright, last item. Last item, I think, is going to be Malice. <sighs> Over... Yeah, I think so. Let's see here. Man. 
We're almost dead already. Alright, we should be able to flip this. Alright, let's just stun Freya. So that's a, uh, it's a way to use Neath's ult to help a teammate secure a kill there instead of securing a kill yourself with the ultimate, obviously. And we should be fine here, as long as no one gets crazy. Um, they've got 12 seconds before they come up, so all we do here is walk up to the Titan and end the game. Um, should not be an issue at all. Apollo's up. We really just ignore him. This game would already be over if we had ignored him. But what, what is someone fighting Apollo for? Oh my gosh. Attack the Titan. Thank you for attacking the Titan. Good game. <clears throat> what a weird neat build we ended up with. <clears throat> Two items I don't always get there on her. Three items I don't always get actually, counting Void Shield. Alright, we will take it though. I'm start starting to finally feel my coffee go through my veins. Which is always nice. So their Fenrir ended up 4-4. Four and four. Remember, he went 4-0 and oh with no deaths, and then he died four times in a row. Cupid played really well. He was 12-3. and three. We ended up 8-6. and six. Our Fenrir was 11-10. and 10. Loki 11-11. And then we had Kronos and Kumba. Kumba is a tank, as expected, but Kronos had a rough game, 1-7.